fractures of the proximal end of the radius. Fractures of the proximal end of the radius is common in children and young adults, caused by either direct or indirect trauma. Indirect trauma like falling down on outstretched outstretched arm, a pronated hand, and extended elbow. Outstretched arm, pronated hand, and extended elbow. In adults, a fracture of proximal end of the radius is more in the radial head. Okay, in adults, it's more in the radial head, as we can see here. But in children, it more it is more in the radial neck. Okay, in the radial neck. So in adult, in the head, in children, in the neck. Of course, the signs and symptoms that patient comes with uh, when have a fracture when has fracture of the proximal end of the radius is like any fracture, pain, swelling, bruising, restriction of supination and pronation of the form are are all symptoms. And also we can have neurovascular symptoms and signs of this fracture. Okay. On adult again, X ray show us proximal radial fracture. A proximal radial fracture. We usually see vertical split. Can you see this vertical split here? This is the fracture of the head of the radius in an adult. Okay. We usually see vertical split through the radial head or marginal fragment or comminuted fracture in some cases. Again, here is a vertical vertical split. We can also see comminuted fracture, but I was not able to see or to have a comminuted fracture photo of fracture proximal end of the head. On children, we can see fracture in the neck and, okay, fracture of the neck of the radius, as we can see in both pictures here of the neck, okay. Proximal fragments may be tilted forward or outward. Okay, can you see the tilted fragments here? Okay, so treatment of fractures of the proximal end of the radius. Treatment of children actually is different from adult a little bit. In adult, we investigate the presence of displacement. In the case of no displacement, we should support the elbow in a collar and cuff. We should support the elbow and collar and cuff and we should uh, do some exercises. This is in the case of no displacement. Collar and cuff of the elbow and do some exercises. Exercises like what? Like flexion, extension and rotation of the forearm. In the case of displacement, open reduction is done. Open reduction with internal fixation of course. And remember that we are talking about adults now, not children. In the case of displacement, we have to do open reduction and internal fixation. Is the treatment of choice in this case, okay? If we have a comminuted fracture, totally comminuted fracture, the treatment of choice is to try to reconstruct. If fails, we have to excise and replace with a, pr a prosthetic silicone or metal uh, uh, head of radius. Okay, so we have three cases: no displacement. We have to use collar and cuff of the elbow, and to do some exercises like flexion, extension, and rotation. If in the case of displacement, we have to do open reduction and internal fixation. This is internal fixation, open reduction and internal fixation. If we have comminuted a fracture, we have to try to reconstruct. If we fail to reconstruct, we have to excise the radial head and to replace it by silicon or metal artificial head. Okay, this is in case of adults. In children, in children again, we have to see do we have any displacement till 30 degrees tilting 
is acceptable okay we see till 30 degrees tilting is acceptable uh, and uh, of course up to three millimeter transverse displacement okay if these two are present and not more it is acceptable to use collar and cuff only okay if more if more than three millimeter displacement transverse displacement or more than 30 degrees tilting we have to do close reduction close reduction close reduction if close reduction fail fails we have to do open reduction but make يعني يعني انتبه هون كثير كويس انه ما بنعمل internal fixation في حالة الأطفال okay no internal fixation في حالة الأطفال in adults لا بنعمل internal internal fixation حالة الأطفال أول إشي بنحاول طبعا في حالة انه ما قدرنا نستخدم الكولر اند كف لأنه عندنا أكثر من 30 درجة تلتنج وأكثر من 3 ملم ترانسفيرس ديسبليسمنت ما زبط معنا الكورة أند كف بنحاول أول إشي بكلوز ريدكشن إف فيلز بنعمل أوبن ريدكشن ويزاوت نو إنترنال فيكسيشن نو إنترنال فيكسيشن طبعا السبلينت في حالة إنه حطينا سبلينت خلال بعد أسبوع أو أسبوعين بنستطيع نقيمه بعد ما نعمل فحص طبعا دائما وابدا dont forget to do a neurovascular examination before and after reduction a neurovascular examination and x-ray for medical and other causes we have to do these two before and after reduction don't forget this